What's up, guys? It's your girl, Matt Cox, your Quilty BFF here. We're trying something new. Now, usually we can do what's happening here and what's happening here, but I'm trying to let you guys see me. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> I have no clue at all. So we will just see what happens here. I'm going to try something else here. And hopefully things don't go perfunkel because they can. Let's go to, let's try that. Where am I? Am I still here? I don't know. Let's see here. I'm trying to find myself and I can't. <laughs> Bear with me. I've just got to find me. Why does this not want me to be great? Aha. Okay, we found me. Now we just need to see. Oh, the drama of it all. Where is what I'm looking for? <laughs> Nothing in life should be this complicated. I'm just trying to see the chat and it does not want me to see the chat. How am I gonna know what you guys are saying? Hmm. Let's try this button here. That button. <laughs> Can you guys see my wheels turning? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how on earth I am going to be able to see the chat. See? That's okay, though, because then once I figure it out, it will be figured out. So many things have gone wrong. I've been, geez, I think I've been at this for a while. A while. Not enough time to sew. I'm over here trying to figure out all the, the things. Candy's Quilt Works just got Nightshade back in, just so you guys know, which is really cool. You guys can call Candy's and they'll ship it right out. They just called me and said they got some more, some more in. All right. 
still can't see the chat. And if I turn you guys sideways, I don't know what will be seen back here. Um, so let's see here. Um, Hmm. Nope, can't see it there. Oh, wait. Aha, there we go. All right, I think this is going to work. I can't see me, but I know what I look like, so whatever. All right. Hey, everybody. Lindiana. Is Lindiana in here? Hey, Amanda, Annette, Amanda, Trish, Donna, Mary Lou, Teresa. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of lives. Okay. What am I doing? I am super running behind schedule now. Oh, well, now we know that this could, can work. We just have to, you know, want it to work. But now we know how to set up for this, which is nice. El Paso. What's going on in El Paso? Hey, there was a nice guy who just hooked me up with some certificates from El Paso, I think. So I went to m and and I was doing the pull for this quote right here. And this gentleman was like, hey, if you wait around, I'll give you my gift certificates because they're running a special right now. And he was like, I don't live around here, so I won't be able to use them. And so now we get to go back and buy more fabric. Hey, David. Happy to have you here hanging out with us. They are every 100 you get, you get a $20 gift certificate. Yeah. That doesn't happen all the time, but it's happening right now. So it makes me happy. So he spent a couple hundred bucks and gave me his and I spent a hundred. And so now we have $60 worth of just money, money, money. So I figure we'll do another pull soon. Yeah, people, people are amazing. I'm glad that you have great people where you are. That was the best day ever. <laughs> So I'm hacking up some half square triangles. And this is what the one block looks like from this quilt. It's just one block, two different colorways, three colors. Fabric Cafe just nails it when they do what they do, you know? Who would have thought that that would come together like that? They did. <laughs> I swear my nose does not start running until I hang out with you guys. So forgive me. Oh, that poll was a lot of fun. I had a great time. A great time. Had no idea you guys would want to hang out with me while I pulled fabric. My manager told me that. She was like, you know, you really need to start filming your fabric pulls. Nobody cares about my fabric pulls. Apparently she's right. This is from the one block. What does that look? one block three yard quilts i didn't even they sent this to me and i know that they're coming out pretty much quarterly they sent it to me but i really didn't pay attention to the name of it and 
uh, Sharon was like, hey, Sharon is one of our quilty friends. Um, she's part of our quilty family. She was like, have you started your one block yet? I had no idea what she was talking about. This is what she was talking about. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying watching me. I'm just happy to have the company. And I was going to be on here for a whole lot longer, but apparently I've been fiddling with uh, uh, technology for an hour. I had no idea it, that much time had gone by at all. I wanted to go live at 1230. And I wanted to go 1230 to 2. Huh. Saw that going so differently. And now I am officially off a fictitious schedule. Hey, Catherine. What's up, my peeps? David, you're in Denver? Why do I feel like... What do I know about Denver? Was I going to Denver for something? Because you never know where, where I'll pop up. I don't know what was happening. Maybe I was just thinking football. The Broncos are struggling right now. I don't know. David, that store is such a good one for for like your, your just your solids. It's a solid kind of store. It doesn't always have the newest fabric, although this happens to be a fabric line that's new. And I didn't even know until I got that email from Jordan Fabrics who was selling this. And I was like, oh, new fabric. All right, we're almost there with these. So when I finally start my community, which is coming hopefully sooner than later, one of the things or the threads that I want to have is about new fabric so that we can kind of keep an eye out for what's dropping and what's interesting. Because it's kind of hard for me to know all the fabric lines that are coming out. Ooh, you got a new jazz. Go ahead with your bad self. That's what I'm talking about. New machine. What quilt are you um, christening your new machine with? I'm excited. I have so many quilts that I need to do, guys. You have no idea. So you guys have been telling me forever that I would like these trimmers better than my block lock system. And I was like, no way. Huh. Well, let me just say that y'all might be right. This is faster. But what I will say is that the block locks, they can accommodate more sizes. Excuse me, my nose. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my nose is so itchy. An African fabric quilt. Ooh, EQ8. Oh, you out there making it really happen. You're doing the things. The You're doing the things for real. EQ8 means that things are happening. I'm learning to use EQ8. I'm not the best, but I'm learning. I'm still trying to figure out my placement and my hands and all that on this, but hey. There's only one way to learn, and that's to do the things. What? Aw, you already know how to do the things. 
I bet you are just running EQ8 like circles around it. It probably makes sense to you and everything. You know who it does not make sense to? It is me. I'm like, why would you make things so difficult? I want everything to work like Word does. If it doesn't work like Word, what, what are we doing? Adobe upsets me. Photoshop really upsets me. I have watched the YouTube videos. And I mean, I can do the things, but it is just not intuitive to me. That is not my gift. I want it to be so badly. My friends are just whipping out patterns, whipping out patterns, pattern, pattern, pattern. I want to whip out a pattern. I have shapes. I have ideas. I've got color stories that I want to communicate. Not my gift. Um, I am working on some stuff, guys, but no sense in me talking about it because, again, not so great at the systems yet. <laughs> Just hang in there with me, though. We've got some cool things coming. And if you are in my non-existent community, you'll see them first. You'll get dibs on all the things first and probably a discount because that feels right. That feels like good business, right? So excited to drop those things. You guys are going to like them. Um, you guys are going to like it. So much, guys. I've got so much happening. You guys are going to be like, when did she do that? Yeah, it's taken like 15 years. You don't remember this fabric? This is the fabric that we picked. This was like the whole thing. <laughs> this was the whole thing. This is the first pull and then... The second one is behind me. My mother, my mother's been watching my lives, which is funny because my mother is not a, she's a super supporter. She's actually legal department and shipping. <laughs> she really is. I kid you not. Um, daddy is marketing. If you ever run into my father, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've got going on. He will give you a card and say that his daughter has a YouTube channel. He is just, he's that guy. Um, but anyway, my mother, she decided that she was, she's just been watching my channel lately. And I think part of that is because I travel and I just get up and go and nobody really ever knows where I am or where I'm going. So I think that's her way of kind of keeping tabs on her, on our only child. But she looked at that fabric pool with that plum and she was like, I don't, I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She was like, yeah, I didn't show it to her in person, but she was not all that thrilled with that pull. And I know it's not the most traditional pull, but when have I ever done a traditional anything? But I think it's going to work. And we're judging that one. We're going to give that one a little something. So I think it'll be interesting. I think. Well, I don't know. Tell me, do you guys use block locks or these trimmers? I don't even know what this trimmer is called. What is this trimmer called? Perfectly, clearly perfect slotted trimmers. How do you guys trim your half square triangles? Just a regular ruler, block lock, or these? And these, again, are cool, and I get it. I do feel like it's less steps. Thank you, Amanda. I think the plum is going to be good. Let me see. <laughs> Mary, Mary, are you, you wondering what's up with that? Uh, you wondering what's up with me and that plum too? You and my mother. My mother's like, I am not. She's just like, I don't, I don't know what you were doing with that. Ah, the strip tube rulers. I think I have those behind me too. I forgot about those. There are so many rulers around, guys, and so many things that do the things. I just love a good notion. And this one here is a good notion. I will say that I am still learning my hand placement and all that kind of stuff. But this is how you learn. you got to just play with it and get it right. Amanda, no trimming. Yeah. I've got a, a girlfriend who is a quiltress. And she's like, I just 
I just sew mine or I just cut it at the seven eighths. And then I'm like, first of all, who knows where seven eighths is on a ruler? So there's that. And then I'm like, well, what? She's like, yeah, I just do it the right size. And then when I press it open, it's, it's right. I'm like, I bet you do. I bet you do. But for this gal over here, we are going to use all the notions. <laughs> we're going to get the results, but we're going to, we're going to use the, we're going to use the notions because I am not sewing and cutting nothing at seven eighths and getting the perfect half and blah, blah, blah. No, I know since me pretending that I'm there. I am not. I am a quiltress in training. I am not a quiltress. Not yet. I don't know that I ever will be that kind of quiltress. She just... She's so good. Go you. Shout out to all the quiltresses out there who can do the things without the things. <laughs> Nettie, me neither. You see me like on my videos, I talk about stacking. No, nah, I'm not about to stack anything. I'm not stacking. Very seldom, but I also really enjoy just cutting, right? Just hanging out with you guys and just cutting fabric kind of mindlessly. I enjoy this. So I don't always take the shortcut with cutting. Especially three yard quilts because I'm not going to be cutting forever. The patterns are, especially if you're just doing a throw. So I just take my time and chill out. Sometimes I don't even have anything playing in the background. I'm just present and chilling in the silence. And then other times I'm listening to podcasts and other times you guys ready for this? I'm listening to the Disney tunes. Yep. I do it every now and then. If the pattern goes beyond a half and a, and a three quarter, you get lost. Yeah. So the stuff that I'm working on, I am being sure to try to keep it at the whole, the half and the three quarter. Um, ain't nobody got time for that five eighths and, 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 seven eight stuff i mean i can get there but it's not fast we're certainly gonna pull out some glow line tape <laughs> for sure glow line tape you can mark it and then just you know keep going back to that same measurement but and if you guys seriously can't find it there's a video on my channel that shows you how to use a ruler so you can find your ace. No shame here. No shame. I'll help you out. No judgment. I get it. All these little itty bitty marks and things. <laughs> it's all right. We're going to get you there. But yeah, most patterns, most of them try to just live in the, they try to live in the, the half and whole numbers and maybe a three quarter here and there. I feel like I am not trimming these in a sexy, smooth fashion, but hey, we're just, again, not going to judge me because I'm getting what I need. And the technique used to get these half square triangles was just the center, sew down the center, two at a time. Put two squares together, sew down the center. No, that's wrong. Put two squares together, mark the center, sew on either side of the center a scant quarter, and now we're trimming them down. Does it? Where's my folded corner clipper? I keep a folded corner clipper right there. Um, does it? I, let me think. Huh. I'm not going to try that right this second. I use my folded corner clipper for binding. All my binding. But I know that it does other things. Am I still on the screen? Can you guys actually see me right here when I'm standing right here? Can you guys see me? I can see me down there, but I don't know if you can see me here. Who knows? Um. What's up? Pastry Queen, we are doing the one block 
this is from the poll that we did yesterday or the day before. Um, it's called the jewels. And this was the one that everybody chose to see that they wanted to see put together. So Fabric Cafe just dropped a new book. I know they drop them like hotcakes. And I did a viewer's choice. I asked everybody which one they wanted me to do. Overwhelmingly, jewels was the pick. And so not only did I let you guys pick the pattern, I let you guys come with me to the store and we all hung out together. I shouldn't say I was lucky enough to have you guys come with me to the store. I didn't let you guys, you guys um, hooked me up. And we did this pull, this fabric pull on camera. And then now I'm just kind of sewing some stuff together, sewing the innards together. And there will be a tutorial on this coming out soon. Had I not been fiddling with technology, it might have come out tomorrow the when it's supposed to, but we'll see. Okay, what are we doing? Ooh, retired, 34 years of teaching, nice. Oh, Trish, you're a quiltress, huh? Are you a quiltress? Have you been quilting forever? You've been sewing forever. First thing you taught was rulers, I get it. You know, I just don't want anybody to ever feel uncomfortable because of a ruler. I love that the first thing that you taught was rulers. It makes sense to me. I don't want that to be the reason that somebody says they can't make a quilt. So I went ahead and we walked through all the numbers on the ruler. And they can look at that as many times. Or if you're ever embarrassed and can't find it, send me a message. You don't ever have to be embarrassed with me. Ever. I am your quilty BFF. Send me a message and say, hey, it says seven and five eighths. And I can't find five eighths. I don't care. I'll help you. It'll be our little secret. Because my favorite saying, one of my favorite sayings, is you don't know until you know. So I'll help you. Uh, what are we doing? Retired. You're trying to netting. When, when I'm right, like when everything is what's supposed to be done, my nails are incredibly long. They're always long. They're just not long right now because I busted my finger. And it's taken almost a year for the nail to grow back, which is terrible. And it, I feel like a whole different person. Um, but I'm sure you guys are happy because most people would say that my nails are very distracting. And they are. I'm a bit eccentric. Your, your quilty BFF is a bit all over the place. But I miss my nails. They are a way to creatively express myself. However, I'm feeling for a couple weeks at a time. I'm sure my mother is very happy right now because she used to call my nails talons because they are usually kind of on the long side and a little, you know, eccentric. But doing everything, people say, oh, it should be easier. No, it's not really easier. My nails were tools, so <laughs> kind of miss them. Um, every time you do the notches, I don't like the way it sounds when it touches it. Nettie, when it touches the, it feels like nails on a chalkboard. And that's kind of what I don't love. However, this sucker does give you the, the, the dimensions that you need. And it's faster. It's a faster way of cutting, you know, cutting it down. But I 100% feel like you trying to get these things in the slot is not, it's kind of weird. I feel uncomfortable and I don't feel like I am doing this in the smoothest way possible. I need to watch a video and see how other people do it. Um, Lindiana, what's coming in October? Oh, another book? Man, every quarter. I think they're doing four a year. I can't keep up. If I only did three yard quilts, I probably could keep up maybe. But I like to mix it up and give y'all a little bit of this and a little bit of that. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'm your Quilty BFF. My name is Mac. M-A-C. Last name Cox. C-O-X. And I do the Quilty things. I do all the things pop culture. Yep. I'm trying to make that word a term, a thing. Um, all things that are popular, anything that's going on right now in the quilting world, I'm usually trying to find out about it, trying to get there. I might be there. And I take you guys along on my quilty journey. I haven't been quilting long, just a couple of years. And I'm just taking you guys on this journey with me. We do the quilty things. 
we do the pop culture things. Sometimes we make a bag. And usually the bags that we, we make are like by any, which are kind of based in quilting, in my opinion. We do the things. So yeah, consider subscribing. Eventually, I'm going to build a community. And the reason why is because I'm starting to grow a little bit on the tube here. And I'm starting to get emails and notifications everywhere. I don't know if it's Instagram, if it's the Facebook, if it's the Twitter. I don't even have anything on Twitter. Why am I getting things on Twitter? I mean, I have one, but anyway. And so I need a place where we can all be together, where people who really want to be there are there. And you guys can share with each other and share with me. And I don't have to be all the places at one time. And I can make a little bit of change. Not a lot. My subscription will not be super expensive. I promise you that. And I'm not going to do tiered like Patreon. No, once you're in, you're in. You guys are my quilty family. And I want to treat you guys the way I would treat my family. So it's not going to be super duper duper expensive. But that way we can talk to each other. I can keep up. You guys know the thing. So the other day, Sherry, she's a, um, one of our quilty family members. Sherry was telling me about Ohio has a shop hop. Now, I would have gone had I had a little bit more time. I probably would have popped into Ohio. But that's the kind of stuff that I want us all to be able to know in one place. We're going to know what's going on. People in my community are going to know where I pop up, just in case you guys want to lay your eyes on me and see me in person. Maybe give me a hug. Maybe give me a little encouragement, a pat on the back. Tell me to keep going. <laughs> but we'll know. I want to know about the fabric things that are happening. That's going to be another topic. I want to know about the three yard quilts that you guys are doing. I want to know if you're judging them. I want to know if I've inspired anything because I'm getting all these emails, guys. Like it's starting to really happen. Like I'm getting a lot. You guys are out there doing the things, but I want to be able to feature you guys. I want to be able to talk about what you're doing. Just because you work a nine to five doesn't mean you're not a super talented quiltress. I want to share that with the world. So that was a long rant. All right, where we got? What will we got? Lindiana, did my new baby show up? There they go. Did you see him? I don't know if I'm pointing at anything. I have no idea what you can see. I don't know what's happening. Can you see this? There's one, there's two, there's three. Insane. No idea why that happened. I got caught up in the in the moment. But they're here. They are here. David, how large are the three-yard quilts? Three yards will get you about a round about like 40 by 60. They're a throw, but it's a small throw. They're just cute enough for you to put over like your leg. And they're just cute enough to throw at the end of a bed and just be cutie patooties. If you want to cuddle, I suggest you double it um and get six yards if you want to do a bed quilt then you need to go on ahead and get what is it what did i tell you four yards for that other one what are you, three six and then i think it's 12 yards for the king i think i like the block lock too we talked about the block lock 45 by 60 so that's what i'm talking about see if we had a community i mean right here is cool but you can ask those questions and somebody else could answer it. I am not keeping up. If we use the 18 miller cutter with that ruler, would it be easier? I think it'll take longer. I just bought an 18 millimeter. I mean, I had one, but I had to throw it away because it was trash. Where's that 18 millimeter I just bought? I don't know if it would be easier. Um, what are we doing now? 18 millimeter. Ooh, I can barely keep up. Look, we are popping. Um, just the right size for your cutie front. Yes, it, it would be good for a cutie. I'm doing great. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> I am making pop culture thing. I have heard people use it. And every time I say it, somebody gets very excited. They're like, oh, I like that. I'm like, right? I've got it on shirts. And we're going to, I'm. I, you can still get the shirts now, but I am changing how I'm doing the shirts. So stay tuned because that's coming sooner than later. I got a guy. Uh, Trish, David, people are talking to each other. Quilters Clearing House. Don't know what that is. Want to go. It just sounds right. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's my taxi, Bella. Arms and hands. Is that all you can see? Are my arms and my hands? You can't see my face anywhere? Here I am. You don't see me? 
You should be able to see me. I don't know what we're talking about. Arms and hands. Uh, Working the nine to five to support the hobby. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks. You make three yard samples all the time. Go you. Thelmo is a thing. Yeah. Got me three sewing machines for no reason. Gets me two. Oh, good. Have I been right about the products that I you've purchased? Like, I swear, I don't tell you unless I feel very strongly about the product. Otherwise, we're not even talking about it. Yeah, Nettie, three yard quilts are great for children's. They're great for gifts. You talk about being able to bust out a quilt fast. Man, I think they're perfect. And I think they're so cute on couches and chairs. I love seeing three yard quilts on couches and chairs. Because sometimes it's too big and it's all folding and you can't see the pattern and stuff. But these are like just the right size to zhuzh up an area. Throw it on the back of that couch. Throw it over that chair. Zhuzh up your place. Change them out. You can store these. They're little. Sort of. Suck them down. You can store them. Um, yeah. I think they're great. I think they're a really good size for charities and things like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But if you like... For instance, that one that I did with the last free pattern, that one spoke to me. But we we knew it would. It had skulls and rainbows on it. I mean, really, it was black and white with rainbows. So we kind of knew it was going to be my thing. I hate that I didn't make that larger. It was so cool. <laughs> so, Amanda, the machines are, are displayed over there. I do not. Can you see them? Can you guys see that? Somebody tell me if you can see those machines. I feel like you can, but my I'm so small. I don't know if you really can. Oh, you know what? How about this? I don't know what you guys are about to see, but since we're quilty BFFs, I'm okay with it. We are going to blow this. I don't know how to blow that one up. How do we? Okay. Did you guys see him? It's too small to see Did you guys see him? There they are. I'm, I'm going to do a video. We're going to talk about, you know, your crazy BFF because she did it. Um, long story short, I was at retreat in Missouri and I was breathing in that quilty air and I got swept away because two ladies had them and they didn't have, one of them had the lilac and the other woman had this blue. Um, and they just look good. They just they just kept calling me. And then I got bored for a second. And idle, idle mind, idle hands. And then I just bought. I logged on and I was like, what color do I want? And I thought I wanted the lilac, but then I saw that fuchsia. And then I got nervous. And then I saw the teal. And then I saw them all together. And I thought, well, this makes sense right so if anybody ever comes over to hang with me or if we ever do a retreat that's local I can actually supply a couple of sewing machines right so purchase justified right actually it was just insane but sometimes often probably a little more than I'd like to admit I do the insane things that was a little insane but they do make for pretty decoration so now we have three but the cool thing about it is those are actually excellent travel machines, like randomly, very inexpensive. And my my plug for that is going to be if you are just thinking you want to be a quilter, if you were just getting in the game or if you travel and you need something or the woman, one of the women who had it was in a wheelchair. She's totally able to cart that around. It's not heavy. It's not hard to, to use. It's actually a really good machine, randomly. It's not just a straight stitch. You can do your zigzag. You can do some overlocking. You can do some things. It's got 15 stitches built in, and it's strong for no reason. There's no reason for it to have to be that strong. It's a little toy-looking machine, but really, it's not a toy. It's really an excellent machine. So we'll talk more about that little random machine. Ah, I almost bought the Burnett. 
I wanted, before I bought my embroidery machine, I wanted one so bad and I was going to buy the little guy, but I ended up getting something different. Kim, you like the three camera views? I'm happy you're here today. I'm happy you caught me live. So when we can see the machine, the clean pad thing. Oh, good. I'm glad that you like the brushy and the cleany patty thingies. Thank you for complimenting my wall. That is going to be my new, one of my new places where I am going to be recording. Apparently, if you're not doing the things on the Instagram, it's like you're not doing them at all. And so I just need a quick place where I can record. I just needed it to be cuter. So now it's cuter. Expect to see videos of me standing in, in front of this wall. Kind of like we are right now. Um, let's see. Asian fabric that needs attention and Australian fabric. I, I dig Australian fabric. I've done a three-yard quilt with some Asian fabric. I um, had a good time with an Asian-inspired quilt. I thought I was really doing something with that guy. It was really a cute one. It was a Disney-inspired one. Absolutely, this would be a great RV machine. I mean, an excellent RV machine. It's tiny. It's not taking up a bunch of space, and it works. What more can we ask for? It will sew chiffon. It will sew denim. And if you can do those two things, there's nothing else to really talk about in regards to a sewing machine, um, especially one like this for 120 bucks. What? Now, one of them is new. The, the colorway for one of them is new. So I think that one is not super duper on sale right now. But for the most part, you will always catch those on a sale. So you should be about 109, 119, somewhere around in there for those. And they work really well. I cannot stress that enough. And so I need to do reviews on the M7, the HD9 Darth Vader, and those. When is that going to happen? I don't know. When I write the scripts. Do I have a Facebook group to follow? I do have a Facebook group, but I don't, I don't understand how it works. I don't know what's happening in that thing. Um, there's probably one or two people in there, including me. I don't even know where it is and how to tell you where to get there. So I am going to build a community and the community will be um, a paid community. It won't be super duper expensive, but it's coming. It's coming. And that one I will control. If Facebook goes down, if YouTube goes down, we will have a place where we can still gather. And I think that's important for the business aspect of what we got going on right now. Because I've been seeing the YouTubers getting just some bad things have happened um, for a couple of YouTubers. Not super. I mean, it's not good. But that's what happens when you're dependent on somebody else to be blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So I think it's important that we have our own place where we can hang out. And how, how do they say if you build it, they will come? Maybe. Maybe you guys will come. <laughs> come hang out with me and all my crazy. The brand of my new three machines, they're Janome's. I just, I'm a Janome girl. And not because Janome cares about me in the least, because they do not. But... Janome has performed. I've seen them perform. Not that the other machines don't. I just, Bernina people are like the difference between um, uh, Android and Apple. Nothing wrong with them. Either one will get you <clears throat> where you need to be. But I have found that Janome's really, man, they are amazing machines. And I can only speak to what I've really sewn on, and they have not failed me. I was recently sewing on a different machine. I won't say what machine, but you guys know what retreat I was just at, so you know what brand it was. And I was skipping stitches left and right. Now that could be to that could be operator error. It could be needing a new needle, rethreading the machine, blah blah blah. But I was annoyed because I don't have them kind of problems. Those are not the kind of 
<clears throat> problems that I encounter with my machine. Only thing I need to do is clean my machine, keep that baby clean and um, oiled. And the other one, just keep it clean and learn how to thread it properly. And we're good. And we're good. I'm not saying that Foffs can't get it because they can. Brothers can get it. Like, so I mean, you just have to figure out who you are. I just happen to be a Janome girl for the most part. I do have a brother, embroidery only, and I'm about to purchase another brother. That's my next purchase. And don't worry, I'll be telling y'all about it. Where are we at? Oh, yeah, come on, join the YouTube club. It's fun. David, they want to know if you have an Instagram. Do you have an Instagram? If so, drop it down here. We share around here. We plug all the quilters. We plug all the quilters. If you are a matter of fact, not just David, if you are a quilter and you've got an Instagram page and you want to build your community, drop it in the link. I don't care. Share. Sharing is caring. Let me see here. What brand? Best kind of challenge. Don't know what we're talking about. <gasps> Nettie, do you have a juki? Tiss, tiss, tiss. If you're Janome, you must not have the machine I have because this is a fact. I'm not just saying it because I love Janome, but the HD9 is the fastest straight stitch semi that you can get semi-domestic. It's not full domestic. If you're going to get a full domestic, the Juki is going to outrun this. But I can beat everybody in a jelly roll race. I live for a jelly roll race because my machine is so much faster than the Juki straight stitch. I shouldn't say so much faster. It's literally like 100 stitches faster within like a minute or whatever, but it's faster. It makes a difference. They say the Janome is, it's faster and it's stronger. I've, I've got a review on it. I have the Juki in my, here, and I got rid of it because I prefer the HD9. It's, it's better. It's faster. It's stronger. I don't, but people like the Juki. They love it. It's popular. And I get it. As someone who just bought three machines for absolutely no reason other than they were pretty, I am not judging. I'm just saying, you know, I've done the legwork for you. Okay. That was nice that we just did all those. Let's do a couple more. Um, I'm pretty sure that everything that I do, my videos, uh, <laughs> pastry queen are amateur too. I am not a quilter yet. I'm just taking y'all on the journey and I tell y'all what I learn on my way. And a lot of the times you guys have to correct me and tell me, <laughs> but it ain't about that. You probably are dropping gems in your videos and don't even know it. Paris Fashion School Scholarship. What? Oh, my goodness. I would love to win. You know what, you know me? I'd like to win that M17. That's the one that I really, I mean, you've got to have space for it and all the things, but I think it's a beautiful machine. I just couldn't afford it when it first came out. And I really, 
I just love my machine so much. But if someone were to just give me a Janome M17, my feelings would not be hurt. It's funny, Nettie, when you talk about the straight stitch, I have an M7, but I don't use it every day. I, I run my straight stitch every day, all day. It's a thing. It's a thing. The M17, when it first came out, it was like 22,000. It was, you know, small car. Um... But then now, I think they're running it for about 13. I think you could probably get them for about 13 now. I think. I wish I had that paper with me. I just went to a sales pitch. But I think I'm hearing of people getting them for 13 now. But when they first came out, they were astronomical. And if you're in the market for a machine, you should totally check out my videos about buying a machine because they're like cars. You don't necessarily need to pay that sticker price if you don't want to. It's a lot of work, kind of, and it can be uncomfortable to haggle. But I guarantee you, if you go into your store and they're selling it for 13 and you go down the street and tell them, oh, Sammy said he was going to sell it to me for 13. They're going to say, well, we'll sell it, sell it to you for 12.5. It's a game out there. Play the game. Play the game. If you need to. I know it's uncomfortable, so you might not want to, but if you want to get that best deal, do a little haggling. I did a lot of haggling. Or I just find a price that I'm comfortable with paying. Like for Darth Vader. Ken from Ken's um, Ken Sewing Center, I think in Alabama, he just had a, a better deal. And then I realized Los Angeles is always going to be more expensive than Alabama. So I didn't need any support with the HD9. So I thought, well, I'll just get it from him. Happy I did. Saved about $2,000. It's insane. It's crazy. The discrepancy is crazy. Oh, Puerto Rico sounds lovely. Is it still running around 20,000? My goodness. No, no, no. The M17 has only been out for it, not even a year. Not even a year. I've got to go look to see what he was selling it for. Yeah, Donna, I like Ken. Ken's all right by me. He's all right by me. I'm going to be working with a store very, very soon. And um, I'm looking forward to trying to get you guys the best deals I can. That's my goal. What kind of sewing did I do on this? She is not cute. That same jump from point A to point B. My goodness.
Thank you, Wendy. Oh, man. I had someone offer me the Tula machine, um, a store owner who knows I love Tula. She offered it to me at a ridiculous price. I had just started quilting and I didn't understand what was happening or what was being done for me. And I missed that opportunity. Had I done that, I'd probably be a Bernina girl right now. I haven't seen any Tula machines for resale. I'm surprised. Those are hard to find. People who got their Tulas got their Tulas, love their Tula. <laughs> what a problem to have, Donna. What a problem to have. Lana, what's up? What you doing? Are you guys team press seams open or press to the dark side or to the side? Tell me. Tell me. You know, I am pressed to the side, but every now and then it just makes sense to open them up. Teresa, I'm, I'm going to check out, I checked them out too, because, and I told Kristen, I said, I sure hate to just be your copycat, but she could care less and so could I. So I know that her retreat is coming up in February at Stitch in Heaven, but their retreat center just looks divine. So it's probably not going to be my first, but it might be my second. Whatever works in the moment. <laughs> it is a mini ironing board. Isn't it a cutie patootie? It's all little. <laughs> this one, Trish, this, it's a wood iron. It's just helping me open up these seams so I don't burn myself. No, I bought this in Florida at that random amazing quilt show that I popped into when I was on my shop hop. 
So if you want to know, because I do not remember, she makes them. And they're so cute. And I think you can change out the, um, the thingy, see? So cute. Love it. Yeah, Fabric Cafe is about their half square triangles, but so is the rest of the world. That's really what most quilts are made up of. A lot of quilts are made up of, I should say. You don't have a half square triangle in there somewhere. Oh, pressing seems open. Just another step. I mean, you still got to press it. So I guess whatever. I'm just complaining because I thought I was going to be a little further along on this quilt, guys. <laughs> and I said I was going to sew till two. I'm going to sew till three. I guess I'm just hanging out till three because I don't know if we're going to get any sewing done. But we got to get all these half square triangles prepped. Who do I think was the first person to figure out how to sew a heifer? I have no idea. I think Latifah has one of the first videos, though, about how to square that sucker up. Because squaring it up is not, it's more than a notion. It's funny because quilter is pretty much are all putting out the same exact patterns. <laughs> you know, you can only have so many log cabins, guys, right? So many half rectangle triangles, so many patterns. They're all doing the same thing. I keep wondering if I'm going to do that. The patterns that I've done, <laughs> they're definitely Matt Cox patterns. You'd be like, oh, no, she did that. They're a little different. They're a little different. Um, but I'm wondering, do I just want to stock my store with, you know, a typical four patch and all that kind of stuff like everybody else? Or should I just let that, let that, <laughs> let that one just go? I don't know. We'll see. I might one day so that you can find it for me. Maybe I say something a little different. I don't know, but. They're also similar. Cutting is a challenge to all quilt. Yeah. Yep. I love to cut though. I love to piece. I love to pick out the colors. I do not love to quilt on a domestic. And I don't love to hand bind. But everything else. Yeah, Kim, this is a necessary evil, and I am not loving it, but it is what it is. It 
It is what it is. Yeah, David, see what your local cultures guild has got going on. See, and then if you were in my group, you could tell me what they're doing. And if you're getting ready to have a show or whatnot. There's a show that I was really looking forward to going up in Santa Barbara. But they do it every other year, not every year. So I was sad. Lindiana, it might turn into a quilt guild. I was thinking about that, but I'm like, do I want to pay to be in a guild? And what guild would I be in? Because as much as people think that I'm a modern girl, I like modern technology. I like the idea of modern quilts, but your girl, you know, give me a log cabin and a churn dash any day. So I don't know that, and I don't want to exclude so then it's like, what? And then I'm thinking, well, what does a guild offer? It offers community. You're paying to be in a guild. You might get some classes from some really cool people. You should be getting classes. You might throw a show or something like that. You do some charity work. I think we can do all of that and maybe not be in a formal guild. We we'll just be, you know, Quilty BFFs. So I don't know. I'm, I was contemplating that. I was thinking about it. And I like the idea that I'm online. Um, when COVID hit, a lot of guilds went to having online uh, meetings. And then you have meetings that happen on a regular basis. And I can do that. We can certainly do that. I want to do that. So <laughs> what's up so so, Becca, oh, you guys, we got a celebrity quiltress in our midst. So, Becca popped in to say, hey. Thanks. Thanks. Where were you when I was trying to get the technology working today? All oh, bad things happened. An hour later, here I am, though. Um. So, Becca, what you got going on? What you got going on right now? I haven't popped in on your channel. Yes, we are all creators. We all support one another the best way we can, but we do not have time to be watching each other's videos all day. <laughs> so when I was in Missouri, me and Kristen were laughing. I was like, girl, I haven't seen that video. She was like, did you see this video? I was like, no, nah, I ain't seen it. She was like, don't worry, I haven't seen yours either. I was like, I know. We don't have time. <laughs> it's a lot. But we try to support when we can. I'm happy to see you, Becca. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for everybody being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> tech demons <laughs> it, it wasn't going right bad things were happening i am close to going to houston do any of you share hotel rooms trish i am gonna be in houston but i'm sharing my room with that good old husband of mine so i'm out but if you want to see me you want to pop up on me i'll be at houston for sure that's the plan. That is the plan. Do do. Yeah. Lana, matter of fact, you guys, if you have any ideas of what you would want from our online community, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking several different threads. I want to know what's going on in the quilty world. So, we'll, again, I want to know what bags everybody is making. I want to know what fabrics people are using and that they're drawn to. I want to know what we're going to definitely have a three-yard quilt because they're kind of like my whole thing, right? A three-yard quilt thread. I'm not sure where I'm going to host it, like exactly how I'm going to build it and all that. But guys, just know it's coming. And that's actually jumping in front of quite a few things because I want to get that started now, sooner than later. 
I understand. Um, this will be the first time that I get to go to market. So I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if you guys saw my review of Houston last year, but I want to know what happens behind the closed doors. You guys know I'm going to just tell you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the people are doing. I've signed up for a bunch of lectures. I love a good lecture. And we'll see. We'll see what it looks like as a industry professional. <laughs> it's funny, me, an industry professional. <laughs> industry, yes, professional, well, I think the jury might be out on that. Tasket basket from the Martelli Notions template, nice. We will definitely do something um, amazing because I am about that charity life. I am here for it. We just got to figure out what we want to do. So again, I don't know that we're going to go formal guild, but we'll do, we'll do something. Maybe we'll just be the online BFF guild. I don't know. I don't know. What am I missing that guilds do? I think that's it, right? They meet regularly, you pay your dues, we do charity work, and we have some people come and teach us the things. Now, I'm not saying I can get, you know, the Tulas and the Jane Sassmans, but maybe I can. Who knows what we can do? My little channel is starting to blossom, and so maybe there's some power in that. I don't know. I don't know. See if we can't get some quiltresses to, to pop in and give us a class. People ask me all the time about interviews. I don't interview people. I interview quilts. I'm more about celebrating the quilt than the people. There are a gazillion YouTube channels for that. Paula, did you just say a Disney meetup? It's like you read my mind. I am always up for a Disney meetup. I want to do a retreat in LA. It just can't be the first one because I don't know of a place that's all inclusive like Missouri. I just, I don't. And so, and I think Missouri is kind of a bucket list for a lot of people. There are some people who won't do Missouri and I get it. You do what you want to do, but you guys, it is, it's just different. It's just different to see a whole quilt town. It's the coolest, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be number one. And it's very, very likely that number two is over in, um, in Texas at the Stitch in Heaven. And then the third one, maybe that'll be in LA once I get, you know, my bearings about me and realize what I really want from our retreats and how I want to do them. And if people actually show up or if it's just me and my mother, <laughs> could be just, could just be me and her. I could see that. So we will see if anybody shows up or if they like my retreats. And the one in LA will probably have some Disney undertones to it. There used to be a Disney retreat and I can't find it anymore. I know there used to be one. I saw it when I first started quilting and thought, well, sign me up. When I first started quilting, I haven't seen it lately. We'll probably do one in Vegas too. Does So Yeah rent out there? Do they allow people to host at their facility yet? I don't know. I know that they're just starting their stuff too, so. I don't know if they let people host or if they bring people in. I think I want to do like Sotopia. We'll do one that's a free sew where you just come and do your own thing. And then one maybe where some classes are being taught. So that we're all working on the same thing. Which might be kind of fun. Um, I've been doing these free sews, but a class for a specific item could be a good time. 
it lets me, you know, depend upon what the project is. You don't have to worry about all the packing of the fabrics and the projects and the just one less thing to have to really worry about. Oh, I want to do some wool work. It's probably going to be a Sue. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I keep, I've been saying I want to do wool work forever and ever. At some point it's going to happen. It's just got to be the right project, like with everything else. What's going on here? Yeah, Don, I don't know either. I don't know either. David, you lost us for a second. Glad to have you back. We are talking about a guild and retreats. Which we might have been talking about when you left. <laughs> Shannon Brinkley has the Meander Quilt Guild. It's 170. Is it a virtual retreat? Sit and sews. 170 to be in the guild, huh? And that gets you videos from amazing teachers. All right, Shannon. Make your money, sis. Um, you said it's priceless. Oh, she must have the quotuses behind that paywall. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know, guys, but we're going to do it. We are going to just be on this journey together and we'll figure it out. Oh, show and tell. How did I miss that? That's my favorite part of the whole meeting. It's like my whole favorite part. I feel like I'm that person who everybody rolls their eyes about. My manager said that. She's like, I'm sure people hate you because I always have something that I'm, I'm going to jump up because I love to show and tell. I love to see what people are doing and I love to just share. I love to share. And mostly point out all my mistakes, right? <laughs> hey, Michelle, you, you said something. I don't know what you just said and I forgot to respond to it. I saw it and I was like, oh. It's my friend, Michelle. Michelle's part of our Quilty family. You guys saw her with me in Sisters. Thank you, Trish. That is very kind of you. I hope that, well, the community is you guys. And you guys are all super awesome. I have not had an issue and I don't foresee having one. You guys have been great. I mean, just great. So when we build this community, I'm going to build the kind of community that I would want to be a part of with the help of you guys. How did I forget show and tell? It's like my favorite thing ever. It's everybody's favorite part, right? I like the teachers too. I love a good lecture, like a trunk show. <laughs> Love it. Bring me your quilts. I want to see the things. Love a lecture. Don't always love a class. Do not always love a class, if I'm being honest, guys. I've got too many projects that are um, like in, in Sisters. I didn't finish, but I'll show you guys after when I'm about to end this live. I will show you the... Um, the project, one of the projects is unfinished. It needs to be finished. I just never seem to finish the things. Fran as Morticia in the new Fantastic Cap. What? 
like Morticia Adams? Lindiana, what you talking about? Because you know I am an Adams Family girl. You know, a dark aesthetic. That's me all day long. What you talking about, Morticia? Did she embrace her inner Morticia? Did she do something dark? You have me in this video just so I can go watch Fabric Cafe and see what they're doing. Morticia. Anybody say Morticia, Beetlejuice, anything Tim Burton. I get very excited. Thank you, Michelle. This fabric choice, this was this was the help of the peeps. They came up with this. I think it's going to look really cool. It's going to look very different than the original. Very, very different. She dressed up as Morticia. Oh, I'm on. Got to see it. Have to see it. Then I have to send her a message about it. <laughs> I can't wait to see them at um, Houston. Hey, Carla, you would join my sister guild group. You will be my quilty BFF. <laughs> would you get a shirt? I'm totally doing quilty BFF shirts, guys. I was thinking about it the other day. What do you guys want the shirt to say? I was thinking I would do a shirt that says be my quilty BFF. One that says Matt Cox is my quilty BFF. For those of you who really, 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 really love me, because I really, really, really love you guys. You guys are so my quilty family. got to see Fran. Cannot wait to go see Fran. Hey, Sherry, why was I just talking about you? Oh, I was talking about that Ohio shop hop. I wanted to go, but it's just, I can't, I can't swing it. But that's why I was saying in the Quilty BFF group that does not exist at this time that I keep talking about, um, that would be a great place for us to just share stuff like that so that I can get ahead of it and you guys can know where I'm going to be. Because I'll tell y'all before everybody else knows. Because on YouTube, I just kind of pop up somewhere like, I'm in Paducah. But you guys will know I'm coming and maybe we can do a meetup. That kind of thing. Because we are Quilty BFFs. We are Quilty BFFs. Let's see here. You would get that shirt. <laughs> you want a quilty BFF shirt? Okay. All right. Kim, do you love Tim Burton too? Jack Skellington? Yes. All the things. Yes. That is so my jam. I often am found in, um, <laughs> in um, <laughs> Jack Skellington attire often. Probably more than I should be as a, a very grown woman who... <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. I like what I like. And Tim Burton, I like. Love that aesthetic. I can't wait to see. I really need to watch the video where they reimagined a lot of those quilts because the first quilt I saw was beautiful. Um, you know, I'm a fabric girl. I love to do color. I love to play with stuff. And I love to have a, a kind of a different take on some things. And I saw them playing with some stuff. So I want to see ooh, what kind of song was I doing here? You talk about scan. Um, I want to check out that video. We'll do that today. Later on. Ooh, that's hot. Quilty BFF Club. We could do that. <laughs> you need that shirt? Okay. I'll get that shirt to us sooner than later. Matter of fact, that'll probably come out 
Well, I'm getting ready to change where all my shirts are being produced. So, but we'll definitely do a Quilty BFF shirt. You know what, Sherry? I might just come up there. I didn't realize how many shops were in. Yes, I did. I knew Ohio. Ohio is just the crafty capital, in my opinion. When I was paper crafting, all the cool paper crafting things happen in Ohio, too. So, but I, I'm just going to pop in and do a sh my own shop hop. I'll let you know. I'll let you know, Sherry. See, and Matt Cox can just pop into your town at any given moment. If you let me know. Lana, I've seen recently, I thought they had gotten it wrong. I don't, you know, there's somebody coming to LA and I get it. They are, you know, they are top of the line there. They're, but I was like, wait, how much is their class? And I get it. They've got to make their money. I do. I, I understand. Um, and they are often coming out and sometimes places can't afford to host them, but they want them there. So a guild might have to offer somebody's home. And, you know, I get it. I, I understand. It's a lot to it. It's a lot to it. It's more than just a notion to just come to wherever to teach a class. So, but I, they are expensive. I've seen some very expensive classes, but. I thought they had gotten it. I was like, well, what? How much? But I paid a whole bunch of money for some classes. I took a class with Sheila Frampton Cooper. That was what I would consider to be expensive. Um, I think it was like, I think it was a multi-day class though. And Jane Sassman too, multi-day, like over the course of some weekends. Great, both of them were great classes. Both of them. Jane Sassman though is like my quiltress muse. Where's that tissue? There you are. No, I don't think Shannon Brinkley's crazy. No, I don't think she's crazy. Giuseppe, yeah, Karen, yeah, I figured. I figured. No, no, it's it sounds like you said it was priceless. I get it. Oh, hey, Lisa, how you doing? What you doing? Are you getting ready for the retreat? Every time I talk to somebody, they're like, we're going to retreat. And I heard you guys are sneaking off to a super secret retreat that I want to know about because I want to know about the facility in, in Los Angeles area. What else? Uh, if you come this next year. It's a cover bridge. Trail. Oh, I do need to go to Amish country for sure. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm going to Ohio. It's happening. You're bearing threads in that quilt that I feel so, um, <laughs> I feel so attached to that quilt. You guys just don't know. My friend uh, Lisa is on here with this. She's amazing. She's been quilting longer than me. And she and I had a very interesting conversation at, I think it was QuiltCon, which inspired, which, is, I mean, it's her thing, but it kicked off her making this quilt. And I feel very, very strongly about this quilt. And I'm excited for her to submit it to QuiltCon because it's special. And when it finally gets into QuiltCon, I will go into detail about it and give it its proper highlight and maybe even talk to her about it because it's pretty deep and it's pretty awesome. You know how you just stumble upon a piece that's just really, really special? She did. Her design and everything behind it, it's special. 
So stay tuned for that because she's burying threads, which means that that sucker has been quilted. And that makes me very, very happy. I totally thought I was going to just be building blocks like crazy. I haven't built a piece of a block. Okay. All the half square triangles are done. And so that's great. Here are the rest of the half square triangles. <laughs> and a follow-up amazing. Yeah. Yep. Don't jinx it. Okay. I'm not jinxing it. Nothing but good vibes from over here. See you later. Just got to go to dinner. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Several of the guild is going to ship Shawana, Indiana, Amish area. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now I need to make some blocks. What time is it? I haven't sewn anything, but that's all right. That's quilting. Some things take a little longer than others especially when you're dealing with the technology issues, whatever. Those are there, those are there, these are there. Lisa, I'm so embarrassed about that tablescape. My manager was getting on me. She's like, when is that going to be finished? I'm like, never. Um, no. So the tablescape is all Tula. This is Moda stuff. This, oh, that Tula right now. Yep. Um, this is the viewer's choice quilt. So my viewers picked which pattern, and they also picked the fabric, sort of. We kind of did it together. And this is that. That's supposed to be done by tomorrow. Not happening. Not happening. Oh, Sherry, no. Mom is shipping and mom is, um, <laughs> mom is shipping and mom is legal. Uh, the manager is legit. Her name is Tasha and she's kind of awesome. Not that mom isn't legit. She is, I don't even know why I said legit, like she's not legit. She is my, my rock. Um, and without her, a whole bunch of this would not be happening. Ninety six half square? No, it's it's not ninety six. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. Mom does feed me. She's also um. What are we gonna call that department? Uh, what do they call it when it's on the set? Uh, oh, what is it called when it's on a movie set? What is that department? Um, 
Lisa, what's it called when, what is the, what is called the, the refreshments section when you're on a movie set? What is it? It's a, uh, oh gosh, why can't I think of the name? Somebody knows. What is it? It's not refreshments. It is, oh, what do they call it? Food and beverage, craft services. There it is. Yes. Betsy's also craft services. <laughs> Betsy is also probably about to take over um, the, the finances too. She's probably about to be accounting. Poor Betsy. Betsy did not retire for this. I promise you she didn't, but hey. Uh, the Dones did it. We're doing it too. Just different. <laughs> Just a little different. Lisa, how's everything going? I know you're still on strike. You doing okay over there? Is there any end in sight of this strike? Anybody else out there being affected by the strike? In the entertainment industry? Entertainment. I didn't even know there was an auto strike. What's happening? Can't see. <laughs> You're missing your shows. I get it. Me too. I'm really disappointed with some of the things that won't be coming out in the time that they said. Oh, okay. You guys are collateral damage. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm super disappointed about some of the movies that aren't coming. Like, super duper disappointed. I want my movies. I really just wanted to see what happens in Doom. Doom just left on such a cliffhanger. I'm like, this was obviously just world building here. I mean, I guess I could read the book and figure out what's going to happen or watch the original movies, but I don't want to. I want to see Zendaya. I want to know what's next. I think Avatar got moved back. I was looking forward to Avatar. I don't even want to talk about all the Marvel stuff. I wish you guys could see how I'm sewing right now. I can't see anything. I don't know why I have the camera like this, but I've never had it in this way before and it is not sensible. There are wires all over the place. David, no, that's the problem. We can't post pictures here, which totally stinks, which is why I need to build the community, which I've been talking about nonstop on this whole thing because we gotta have a place where we can share. We've got to have a place where I can see what you're doing, what you're talking about, some of your fabrics. I want to see the bags. I want to see the quilts. I want to know the things. The new Dune is way better than the old ones.
yeah, that AI stuff is wild. That's wild. The to even think that it would be okay to scan somebody's likeness and continue to use it without paying them, paying them a one-time fee for their face. I don't even understand how we got to that conversation. At what point did somebody think that was a good idea? Now, I don't know a lot about the things, but some stuff is just wrong. That's just wrong. It's clearly wrong. It's not nice. You know, just because we can do these things doesn't mean we should. I'm so tired of automation taking jobs from people in every aspect of life. It's not right. Just because we can does not mean we should. Got to pick up a child. You're going to come back. By the time you come back, I will be gone. But I am so happy that you popped in. I am so happy to talk to you. Oh, you got the layout, man? You know what? David, email it to me. I want to see it. I want to see your EQ8 layout. I want to see it, and I mean that. Like, I, I really want you to email, email it to me so I can see it. Email it to Mac at macatourcrafting.com. Please, please share. Lana, so the background fabric is stone. I think that's what we went with, right? Is this stone? And then the other one is the citron color. Um, or it might be mocha. Okay, it's three o'clock. I need to call it. Don't worry. I am going to get this done sooner than later, I promise. You guys wanted to see it, and it really does come together neat. I mean, these are the finished blocks, and it's just a one-block quilt. It's one block, two different colorways that we are going to rotate and make do all the things. Look, it's going to come together so cute. I think it was stone too, Vicki. I'm not sure, but thank you. Stone. Thank you, Cindy. Um, it's going to come together pretty, I promise but it's a lot of half square triangles. That was way more than I anticipated. And we use the new special ruler, which is way faster than the other way that I do things. So yeah, but now we know that I can be here and actually see you. And also you can see here and you can see here. We just, it's all the things. Um, what else did I wanna show you? Oh, I was gonna show you guys those blocks of that quilt that I never completed. And then we can get out of here. Mm. Okay, so this was a class by, oh Lord, I forgot her name, Michelle, what was this woman's name? This is not helpful, this is not helpful right now, I'm not being helpful, what was her name? Oh, do I have the... Yeah, here we go. It's this quilt, and it was by Sally Frey. Oh, that was going to bother me. Sally Frey, and I'll show you guys how it all comes together. This is fabric by RJR Fabrics, and um, it was a jelly roll, and it comes together really cool. Everything is now sewn down. I'm not going to do sashing. I'm just going to, <laughs> thank you, Michelle. You are right there with me. You are right there for me, Sally Frey, though. Um, not going to sash it. Not going to put any corner stones on it. We're just going to sew them together and let it live. Everything is sewn down. 
blanket stitch, Dresden, cut out the centers. So here's block one, block two, reminds me of Skittles, I don't know why, three, four, this is my favorite, this is going dead center, love this colorway. Five, six, like this colorway too. Seven, eight. I'm sure I just showed you nine, but my counting was probably off. So yeah, that's that's happening. And um, yeah, that's that's that. That's the quilt that needs to be sewn together. And then I'll show you guys how to put one together. It's not difficult. Dresdens are a good time if you're in the mood to do a lot of blanket stitching. And I hate that I wasn't doing it on my computer, on my um, sewing machine, because I could have done a longer stitch length, which would have taken, um, which would have taken less time. I'm really pleased. I think that's going to be a really um, interesting looking quilt once it's all done. All right, I am calling it. We have been live for almost two hours. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, share me with the people, um, do the thumbs up thing. And I will catch you guys all on the next one. We are going to finish this one. I'm probably going to finish this one off the live so that I can crank it out because I cannot crank it out while I'm, you know, entertaining. Um, and then we're going to do the free one. And then I don't know what we're doing after that. But we've got to use those gift certificates that we got from m and and so we now have $60. So the next viewer's choice you guys chose was evening stroll. So we will do evening stroll. We'll, I'll let you guys pick the fabrics for that too. And then we'll find another one and then we'll be done. Well, we won't be done, but we will have four quilts under our belt. Um, and then we'll see where else the crafty world takes us. The quilty world takes us. Um, we'll be in Houston together in October. I will be in PIQF in a couple of weeks, also in October. I feel like I'm going someplace else. I don't know. I'll tell you guys, but see, if we had a community, you guys would already know these things. Hey, Rebecca, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, but I'm happy you popped in. Go back, watch all the things. Okay, David, you sent it to the, okay, perfect. Debbie, how many? Oh, Donna, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. You guys just don't know. You guys are helping keep me afloat, helping keep the channel going, helping me pay legal. <laughs> Legal's going to get a portion of that. We, hey, it's, it's a business. It's a family. We got to do what we got to do. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. How many three-year quilt books are there? I don't know but I have them, but I don't know a lot. But the most recent one is the one block one. And so we are going to, what did I just do? We are going to, um, what, are we, what am I thinking? Donna, you just knocked me off kilter. I just, I can't tell you guys. I really appreciate when you guys contribute because it helps. It helps. This is a business and I spend a lot, you know, I do. Uh, and it's not quite breaking even all the time. And so when it does, I just get ecstatic. Um, let me see. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Anything else you guys need to know before I get out of here? We're going to PIQF. We're going to Houston. I feel like there's another trip in there somewhere. I don't know. Oh, 15. They're 15. Wow. They are cooking. My goodness. So fast. Um, all right, guys, I will catch you all on the next one. If you guys need me, you can reach me by email. I'm a little slow, but I get there. <laughs> what day for PIQF? Uh, I don't remember. What is it? The 12th, the 15th and the, I don't know. I don't know. I should start telling you guys sooner though. I, cause I don't know. But it's one of those days. I think it's the 12th or the 15th. I forget. 
so much happening, so much to do. You guys see all the things that we have to do. And this just took so much longer. And I should know better. I know with these patterns, but blah, blah, blah. Like blah, blah, blah. I know the. <laughs> oh, what else? I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to tell you guys. You're going to be there Saturday. I think I'm there Saturday too, Debbie. I think I'm there Saturday. Please, please, please stop me if you see me. I'll probably be live, but um, stop me. You're part of the family. They're just going to say, hey. <laughs> They're just going to say, hey, to you. Uh, what else? Houston, QuiltCon in February. There's got to be something else. If you guys think of something, please tell me or um, send it to me because you never know when I'm going to pop up. I might just pop up in Ohio with Sherry because she sent me the information about the shop hop and I have some connections in Ohio. I have some family connections. I don't have any connections. I have family that I can stay with in Ohio, which makes it a little easier to do. It makes it a little easier and a little more affordable for me to do in connections, please. You know, who I thought I was, who was I kidding? So uh, I might do that and we might grab a couple of stores. I don't know. We will see. You guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for the support. Please uh, like, give me the thumbs up and I will see you guys all on the next one. Okay. Bye-bye. I have no idea how to turn all this stuff off. Got cameras here, 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 here. No clue what button to push. Leave it to me. All right. There we go.